All right, this is a quick video tutorial on how to use the ultrasonic baths in the lab. There's a couple of them here. Um, these are 99% of the time you're going to use these for cleaning surfaces of different materials, especially if you're involved in a project that um, that works on fabrication of microchips or sensors. Um, the bath is pretty simple. Um, it's got an oscillator inside of here that generates uh, an ultrasonic frequency that gets transduced to um, this actual metal uh, container here and then into the water. And so if you turn this thing on, you'll see um, sort of a vibration inside of here and you'll actually hear uh, the high frequency. Most often for our applications, you don't want to actually use the water itself. This is simply just uh, another transduction mechanism to whatever the vessel is that you want to clean in. So in, most often, so you want to clean this, um, this chip here, um, you're going to use another beaker uh, and that allows you to have a nice clean solvent or water inside of your beaker which is separate from this dirty bath in here uh, and doesn't require you to use so much volume of liquid in this bath. So inside of this bath you want to keep this filled with DI water up to the operational level. You can go a little bit above it or a little bit below it but you don't want it so that it's um, very low, significantly lower than the operation line. Um, you can use either the um, the wand here to fill up the bath, or you can just lift the entire bath up and put it in the sink and use the DI tap here to fill that up. Okay, so this is what um, the actual beaker would look like with the object that you want to clean. A uh, couple points here, you, you want to make sure that your object that you want to clean is fully submerged inside of that beaker. That means you don't want any amount of it uh, sticking out, otherwise that region won't get cleaned. So it's got to be fully submerged here. Um, you also want to be um, especially careful that you don't have too many objects inside of here that you want to clean. What happens is when you turn this unit on, um, if you have, say, several of these chips in here, they'll tend to stick to each other, uh, and the faces that are that are stuck to each other won't get cleaned as thoroughly as the other ones. So it's better to either have some sort of divider uh, inside that keeps everything up and away from each other, or to ch clean chips individually. Um, there are several uh, machine dividers that we have in the lab for different things. So here are a couple uh, examples of Teflon dividers for cleaning um, silicon or glass chips. So those just drop into the bottom of the beaker uh, and they keep everything upright and far away from each other. Okay, another thing you wanna uh, think about is how you're gonna mount your beaker. So it's really clear here, if you, if you look at this, this beaker is mounted in a way that it's roughly one inch off the bottom of this metal container, meaning it's not touching anything except the clamp itself. It's completely freely floating inside of this container. If it touches any one of these objects, whether it's the plastic or the metal itself, that'll damp that transduction, meaning it won't get a good uh, transduction of whatever that oscillation is into your beaker. In other words, you just won't get very good ultrasonication or cleaning inside of the speaker. So make sure it's completely suspended inside. Uh, here it's, uh, it's hard to see in this video, but it's probably one or two centimeters submerged. Um, another trick here is there's really two hot spots inside of this, this, um, this oscillator. One is uh, right about center midline, but a few inches from the left, and the other is a few inches from the right. By positioning your beaker on one of those hot spots, you'll get the best transduction. In fact, having it roughly a centimeter or even less, maybe half a centimeter submerged, you'll get the best transduction. If you have this beaker all the way near the bottom, several inches submerged, you don't get very good transduction uh, or very good cleaning.